Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Bradley Mutawung, and I'm back again with another banger video. So, uh, you're looking at gold. So, I'm gonna start on the weekly time frame since the markets are closed. And those who don't know me, make sure that you are subscribed and click the notification bell so that you can get like quality content like this one. I and mean, then, if you want to learn from me, just know that I charge $13. $18 sorry about that for my mentorship of which it's 350 and then my contact details are in the description below so this is the high point here and guys it's a special my normal price is 2k now that's 2k my normal price for mentorship and signals so it's just a special that i made so we have the high point as you can see on the high point guys obviously we have like touches this one this one and this one and then the market is reacting to that and then it's failing to break like that structure that 262302 area or level or 208000 level of which it's a psychological level obviously that is why the market is failing to break it and then we have the slow point here so the markets are just trapped in this area and then what i'm thinking to myself is that we have this impulse to the upside the corrective move and then we have another push to the upside and then we also have like this corrective move here and then what i obviously know is that whenever you have a corrective move in form of a descending channel the what the market will do is that it will give you like a push to the upside and then reach like the overall 90 percent i don't know if i'm making sense if i'm not making sense make sure that you click the like button and you drop a question in the comments in the comment section guys so as you can see from this point here we had the descending channel obviously and then after having the descending channel what you can obviously see is that the 90 percent is at the top of the structure or it's at that uh such psychological level that we talked about 2080 and triple zero the zero zeros at the end are that psychological level area so what i'm thinking to myself is that the market can just reach this top of the structure then that is when we can further decide if we can continue to the upside and the market will decide i will not decide guys now it will push to the upside or it will just push to the downside come back and reach the bottom of the structure and just play that ping pong uh ball thingy that is playing at the moment around this level here at 16 18 153 and 26 7 3, 3, 9. so that is the area where gold is stuck at at the moment so let's just switch to the lower time frame and see what we can make use of the lower time frame guys now so on the daily what you can obviously see is that we created like some type of a ascending channel just because the markets are pushing to the upside so obviously this is the trend where we are in so the trend is nice it's nice just because looking for a clear trend is the most difficult part of trading whereby you get tagged out all the time you lose money and all of that stuff you fail challenges but like in this uh, vip group or in this channel here i call it a vip group just because everything that i give you guys is transparent and it's honest and then i'm trying to make sure that everyone is learning how to trade the way that i trade or the way that you'd like to trade just because i'm a transparent person guys so as you can see here from this point here we had the retest so obviously what can happen is that we can push to the upside reach the top of the structure even though we surpass that psychological level what i'm thinking is that we can have this as our first touch second touch and then the market can just reach the third touch area and then that is when we can further decide if we are continuing to the upside like i said or to the downside so obviously the third touch has to come up in the market and then after having the third touch obviously we just have to look for those nice selling opportunities on gold i hope i'm making sense i hope i'm not leaving anyone behind guys if i'm leaving you behind make sure that you comment in the comment section so that i can slow down or answer any questions that you have now everyone is free guys everyone is free to ask any question so as you can see we had the retest and then now the market is trying to create like some type of a larger flag as i always say whenever the market has pushed to the upside too much what it will do is it will take like some type of a breather before pushing to the upside for example let's say we had like this nice impulse to the upside and then obviously we are on the for our time frame of which there's a lot of candles on the one hour so as you can see here 
we create like like some type of an ascending channel but like it's not an ascending channel it's just an expanding pattern so as you can see from at this point we have this area and we also have this area here so what we can do is that we can look for continuations to the upside reach the overall 90 percent or the overall third touch sorry about those dogs guys it's the, the the neighbor's dogs they are making a lot of noise all the time even if when i'm trying to back test i'll get like this type of noise of which it's distracting and annoying i like dogs don't get me wrong but like they are very very annoying so let's get back to uh the uh conversation so as you can see here we have the first touch here the second touch here and then we have the first touch here and we have the second touch here so obviously this is can this can be like some type of a decent channel on the um 15 minute but like i don't like the 15 minute uh, that much so what i'll do is that i'll wait for the market to come back to this area again if it comes back to this area then i'll be looking for those uh, buying opportunities or let's say we break this structure level here the structure level from this point here if we break that structure level let's say we impulse up we come back to retest and then that is when i'll be looking for those buying opportunities on gold so guys i hope i made a lot of sense today i hope you get to enjoy each and every post that i make make sure that you support the channel by subscribing by clicking the like button by sharing all my videos and by making sure that you participate on all my videos by asking good questions by as getting it by getting your input like let's say if like i missed something on my analysis make sure that you uh comment just because nobody can be right all the time guys now and yeah i'll see you on another video make sure that you take advantage of the special that i'm running of which it's 18 dollars for mentorship and signals my comment my uh, contact numbers are in the description or you can just use the number on the screen and yeah i'll see you on another video guys peace and love make sure that you follow me on instagram